As we see more electric vehicles on the road, we're also seeing more fires. In November, a Tesla caught fire at RDU. And then in January, a Tesla battery short-circuited, causing a small explosion, and that left a carry home filled with smoke. And this weekend, a Raleigh home caught fire because of a malfunctioning lithium battery in a bike. So how can you keep your lithium batteries from being a hazard at your home? Thanks for joining us. I'm Angela Taylor. And I'm Rod Carter. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis is live in Raleigh tonight, getting some answers about simple fixes that could make a big difference. Yeah, guys, we've actually been out in the neighborhood where this fire happened, talking to neighbors, but we also reached out to some of our local bike shops who say they're recommending people to come in if they ever have any questions about those lithium batteries on their e-bikes. They said they're not able to do maintenance on those e-bikes, but they're doing everything possible to prevent situations just like this. Yellow caution tape, piles of debris, and charcoal. It's a site at the back of a home in Raleigh on Guilford Circle. This video showing a day earlier when firefighters rushed to put out the flames caused by a lithium ion battery on an electric bike. It does raise a, I think, a concern from, from my point of view of kind of storing those batteries properly, how often maybe you're charging them. Daniel Clampett is one of several neighbors asking questions. Electric bikes are becoming more popular, so I feel like a lot of people are starting to store the batteries inside. And seeing that definitely raises flags of what these batteries are, are made out of. Raleigh firefighters say they've responded to electric vehicle fires most recently in Cary and at RDU, but say it's the first time they've responded to a fire involving an electric bike. They say most garage fires are caused by lithium batteries and power tools, including lawnmowers that have been damaged, overheated, or improperly stored. When I tell customers about e-bikes and they consistently say there's, I can get them so much cheaper online, there's a reason with everything where we can get something cheaper. David Naderman with the bicycle chain sells several e-bikes at shops across the triangle. He says there's a reason you should avoid knockoffs and certain manufacturers that don't require additional testing. Test the batteries to make sure they have extra flame resistance to them. There can be left on chargers for longer periods of time. Don't be afraid to ask the people you're shopping with. Is this a UL tested battery? He says you might be paying a premium price, but one that comes with a higher guarantee for your safety. Naderman also recommends getting a timer that you can connect to that charger just to reduce the amount of time that your electric bike is being charged. She said that also reduces the risk. And Raleigh firefighters also tell us that although they do see some extensive damage toward the back of that home, they said no one was hurt. And Raleigh Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. And Mariah, I understand that certain neighborhoods are continuing to try to talk about rules when it comes to electric bikes and I guess who can and who can't have them. Yeah, that's right, Rod. We actually have heard from certain bike shops who said they're well aware of certain HOAs that are discussing rules and limitations when it comes to where you could charge your e-bikes and where you could actually ride these bikes. And some of those HOA neighborhoods have actually banned those bikes altogether because of potential hazards. That'll be an interesting discussion yeah. for sure. All right, Mariah, thank you. We appreciate it.